Well, welcome back to another video. Today I'm at South Down Motome Centre here in Portsmouth, and today we're going to look at the Hymer Grand Canyon S crossover. And what a beast this is. This is for pure off grid, go anywhere living. Based on a Mercedes Sprinter, let's take a look. So let's take a look at this beast. So, as I said before, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, quite obviously it's the 4x4 chassis, tackle anything at all. It's a 2.2 litre diesel engine with 190 horsepower, automatic gearbox. At the bottom you can see bash plates underneath to protect the running gear. This means business. Oh, and if you haven't seen uh, the video yet of the Hymer S600, make sure you check that out on our channel. Look at the off-road lights at the top there, light the way, and then uh, hits the ground clearance that just really, really gets me. It looks so cool. This van is spec to the eyeballs as well. Let's work our way down the side. What do you think to the uh, fluorescent stickers on the side? They look smart, don't they? You're on BF Goodridge, all-terrain tires. We used to have these on our California Ocean, and they were pretty beasty. So yeah, and then look at that suspension travel. Fit another tire in there. <laughs> it's a monster. Driver's door, and then behind that, you've got the habitation door. In the habitation door, you've got an opening side window with privacy glass. And I really like this carbon fiber wrap all the way down the side as well. And that continues onto the side flares as well. So it's a slightly slimmer side flare on this side and then a thicker one on the other side. You've got an electric step, which you need, because it is quite the step up. Climbing into the driver's side is quite the climb up, but yeah, it's good. Underneath the side flare, you've got your water inlet, and then above that, you can see the wind out awning as well. Moving back, you've got a rear view camera right at the top there, two opening privacy glass windows right on the back here fixed to these big barn doors. If you open those, it'll give you plenty of ventilation. If you're somewhere that's got a nice view out the back, that'd be very nice. In fact, look, you can see here, look at the side of that side flare there. So that's so much wider than this side. And that's mainly because you obviously have your sliding door on here, so it can't be too wide on that side. More of those decals on the back, really striking looking. And you've even got some like reversing slash work lights on the back here as well that light up. So on the passenger side, Hymer logo at the top there. Like we said about these big side flares on this side, wrapped in that carbon fiber wrap. And then you've got at the bottom here, your electrical hookup. Not that you need that when you see what batteries this has got on board. You can be off grid for ages. Then you've got your cassette toilet, uh, cassette access at the back there and then this is your vent for the Truma boiler as well so it's an absolute beast but we all want to have a look inside so let's go on in so let's start the front of the Hymer Grand Canyon S finished in this leather upholstery this is an option uh, and it's really nice, really feels really hard wearing. Uh, and the seats are really comfortable actually. They've got real good support, nice big side bolsters as well, which hold you in. I'm sure this can really get rocking when you're off road because that suspension travel is beastie. You've got extendable sort of fire support. I like to call them crumb catchers. At the front, it's Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, a standard really, so what you would expect, really, really nice van, lovely big screen in the middle that has all your DAB, sat-nav, um, Apple CarPlay, all that kind of fancy stuff. It's also, then beneath that, you've got all your climate control uh, controls and then you've got cubby holes at the bottom for storing your 
your phone and snacks. Right up on the top, in total across the front, you've got four cup holders, so that should keep most people happy, I think. And speaking about these seats, they do, as you can see, swivel around. So they are captain's chairs, and that just provides two of your four seats that you have in this habitation area. Above the seats, you've got plenty of head height. There's no storage up here. Well, I say no, you know, there's a little bit of storage up here, but there's no big cabinet across the top here, which I really like. It gives you a bit of a bit more flexibility getting in and out uh, and just makes it yeah, more comfortable. You're not bashing your head when you're getting in and out, which is nice. On the windscreen and on the side windows, you've got blinds that are built in, which is a really nice feature. Saves having to unfold fabric blinds. And also if you're off grid, which you're bound to be in this van, it means you can get a quick getaway without having to take off um, external screens. So that's a really nice touch. And then above the windscreen, you've got your main Heimer display. So this shows you your battery condition, shows you how much water you've got on board, how much waste water you've got, uh, all integrated into one unit. Now, speaking of the batteries, I said outside that this is an absolute beast for off-grid. As standard, it comes with a 95 amp hour AGM battery, but this one has been upgraded to have an, another two 150 amp hour lithium batteries so it is a beast it's got it's all fed by a solar panel on the roof there's an option to have another one if you wanted an extra solar panel but that's a 95 watt solar panel so those batteries are constantly being topped up by that it's really your water supply and emptying your toilet that restricts you from being off grid for forever essentially so moving back from those captain's chairs you've got an additional two seats that form the force uh, belted seats this is a four berth van and you'll see the uh, the sleeping arrangements shortly this one actually has a, a table that folds away so at the minute you can see it's folded away and then you just pull that pull that up and that locks into place and then you can undo that popper there and it folds out that's a really neat touch actually because often these are a bit of a pain and they get in the way but that that really just fold away nicely so I like that a lot. Next to the table, you've got a 12 volt socket and a three pin plug, nicely positioned 90 degrees so that you, your cord doesn't get stuck on the table. And then you've got one of those opening windows that we saw from the outside. So they're tinted, they have built in fly screens and built in blackout blinds. And they feel really good quality as well as you'd expect from Hymer. At the top, you've got two cupboards with poppers on and uh, gas struts nice little bit of storage there and then beneath the uh, the table you can see one and then another one of those uh, blown air heating outlets now interestingly in a lot of these vans most of the time they have a double floor like an, an extra bit that steps up around here and it curves around and that's often a bit of an issue if you've got a big dog like we have who wants to lay down now this one is a completely flat floor all the way through so i like that a lot that's not seen very often and uh, when you've got a big dog like ours that's really really nice to see right let's have a look at the kitchen so on the end here you've got a magazine pocket and then above that you've got this one on the side here is the uh, electric step to retract that, one of the light switches and then a three pin plug. And above that you've got a couple of movable hooks as well, so you can put some bags on there. I really like the curve in the, um, in the worktop, that's quite a nice feature, just gives it a bit of a, an air of luxury. And then let's have a look at the actual kitchen unit itself. So, a Dometic two burner hob with built in sink. We see these all the time and that's because they are just spot on for this kind of job. You can easily clean it down. You've got a larger uh, hob on this side, slightly smaller one on that side with electric ignition and you can easily just wipe stuff down into the sink which also has hot water as well. Then beneath the hob you have a little like opening cupboard and that uh, has a little string bit so you, you could put stuff in there. It's not really deep enough to put anything but the main reason it's there is for your isolator for your gas. Beneath that, you've got one of the drawers. Now what's this? What's this we see? So that's like an extra uh, tray by the looks of things. So I imagine that actually just clips onto the end of the, um, the, end of the table. 
and gives a bit of an extension so that, for example, whoever sat in that driver's seat can still reach the table. Beneath that you've got another big cupboard, another big drawer should I say, and then that is actually false. There's nothing there because on the other side you have the place where you put your gas bottle. Now this gas is only for cooking, so yeah that's where your gas goes in there. So you don't need a big gas bottle, it's literally just for cooking. Whilst I'm on the outside actually I'll just show you, you have a, a fly screen that goes all the way across and then another nice feature with the sliding door, if I pull this too, you actually have soft clothes, very fancy. Above the kitchen you've got a couple of extra cupboards, one there and then one here and they're all finished in this, it's probably really dark brown really rather than actually black but it's quite nice, it really goes well with the lighter sort of oak colour on the front there. On the end of this one you've got a couple of hooks again that move and then you've got, that's for your solar so that's all your um, Voltronic, Voltronic um, solar charge controllers and all that kind of stuff so it shows you what's going on so you've got a hundred percent state of charge and you can see here that you actually even in this relatively overcast day we are actually pulling in 2.2 amps so those batteries are always going to be charged which is spot on Moving back, we've got almost like a tiled effect splashback. Uh, your controls for your heating and your hot water. So that's all controlled by the Truma system. You've got an extra three pin socket and also a 12 volt socket there as well. This little area here is quite nice to have. Just a bit of extra storage, maybe when you're prepping your food or yeah, just put stuff on there if you wanted to when you're away camping. You've got more of these, there's these hooks everywhere. They're really good actually, just store things on there and then underneath that shelf you actually have a uh, Thetford 12 volt uh, fridge with a, a, a um, freezer unit as well. Beneath the fridge we've got a pull down cupboard and that's pretty big actually. Store some of your tins or pots and pans in there and then opposite the fridge we have our washroom. So on the side we've got a couple of coat hooks and then yeah it's finished in this sort of oak veneer look which looks really nice I like that so let's have a look inside the door so you've got a big mirror on the inside of the door so you can get changed and then inside we've got a big wrap around uh, shower curtain just to stop everything getting absolutely drenched you've got a, uh, a shelf with some elastic so you can put your shower gel, shampoo, that kind of thing. You've got an extra two hooks. And then on the floor, you can see you've got, it's like a wooden floor and you just lift that up out the way when you actually want to use the shower. The good thing about having that is you could have a shower and then put the floor back in and you don't get everything wet again when you step on, side, uh, step on that and go to the toilet. Now there's a window there, but it's been blocked by this drop down sink. So you just pop that down, that's your a hot and cold tap but it's also your shower as well so that just extends when you want to have a shower and then above that you've got your light switch mirror which is also a cupboard for storing your toothpaste loo roll that kind of thing and then uh, let's lift this up out of the way and then the Thetford toilet is down at the bottom there with electric flush and loo roll holder to the side. So as you can see this is a brand spanking new van that's why it's covered in all this cellophane I'm not going to remove that. This is actually sold so some lucky person will get to take that plastic off I'm very jealous. Oh another feature I like if you're trying to dry towels or something you can pull these down and then that just gives you a hanging rail in there. So let's have a look at the first two berths. Now, I can't really show you the bed fully made up because this mattress part, this central part, is a foldable mattress and it's all wrapped up in cellophane. Like I say, it's a brand new van, so I'm not gonna go and wrap in that. 
But what you can see is you've got a little bit of the mattress here. These cushions come with it. That's the smaller side flare there. And then the, the thicker one is there. So you sleep across the bed. There's another part of the mattress. But yeah, this bit is folded in half. And that's because this part of the bed does hinge up. So we'll have a look at that in a second. But you can see underneath the mattress, you've got these frolly springs, which are really comfy and uh, make a big difference. And then you've got cupboards all the way around. So all these nicely open and give you plenty of storage for all your clothes. There's two at the back there and then another big one on that side as well. You've got big windows at the back. So if you've got a nice view out there, you can see what's going on. And then you've also got little um, like elasticated net things that you can put your phone in and store when you're laid in bed. They're pretty good. Speakers at the back there, which will be part of your entertainment system. And then same over that side, you've got more speakers. And then this one actually has a, a curtain, so you can close this area off uh, when you're actually sleeping, so that can go all the way across. You know, if you've got four of you in here, you might want to do that. You might want to close it off for a bit of privacy. On the side of the fridge, you've got a couple of USB points and a couple of uh, switches for your lights. Now that's quite handy because you can put your phone up on the top there at night time and charge that. It's out of the way. You've got to always have a, a plug socket nowadays next to your bed, haven't you? So you can ch charge that phone up. You've got a light up the top there and then you also have, these are all lights along here as well. So now what I've done is I've actually lifted the bed up so you can see how this works. So it just has a little elastic bit, a little fabric bit that press studs onto there and holds the bed up. That means you can then store bicycles or, um, yeah, I don't know, you could put your kayak in there, I suppose. And it just gives you a bit more flexibility when you're traveling to store things. But beneath this, we actually have a few extra storage areas. So at the front here, you've got a drawer and then beneath that, you've got a cupboard. Back from that drawer, you've got another couple of those elastic uh, holders so you can store things in there. Another outlet for the heater. And then on this side, you've got a shelf. So you can store bottles in there maybe. And then, I don't know if that's another cupboard behind there. I don't think it is actually. But this here is actually an Isabella outdoor table. So that folds up nicely in there. This is some of the box of goodies that you get when you buy a, a new van. And look at this one, this is spot on. This is really cool. So what we've got in here, I don't know what's in there, do you reckon? Should have a look? What's inside here? Oh, so that's a, oh, it's just a compressor for pumping up the tires. <laughs> Maybe when you air down the tires, you could use that for going off road. But this is exciting, look at this. Got an ax. Whoa. And then what's this one as well? Whoa, look at that. Proper rough road. Loads of goodies in there. Very jealous of the new owner. But we've seen two of the four berths, and I know you're wondering where the other two are. They're up here. So let's take a look at this. Now I first had a look inside the pop top of a Heimer when I filmed the blue one. So check that one out on our on our channel. But what do you think of this? I think this is great. So you just go up the ladder and look at the size of that bed. That is enormous. And we've got a VW California and this is loads bigger up here. It's loads longer, you just have more space. It's nice actually. In the California, often the pillows drop out the the front and down into the seat so you have to shut the little hatch but this because this is quite a bit longer it's it, I don't think you'll have that issue uh, a couple of windows one there and one there that's uh, zipped up at the minute you've got another window up at the front here and then on this side here you've got a USB charger and a built-in LED light as well you've got a net that you can put up so that would just go up at the top there and that just stops kids falling out if you've got kids up here and then there's also a 12 volt socket there as well now what I do like is on this side there isn't a 
uh, an LED light, but you do have a big shelf, so you can put your phone on there. So that's pretty good. But yeah, it's a really big bed. It makes it a really flexible van. Right, let's take a look in, in the back. So big barn doors open in these. And let's have a look. So you've got a couple of chairs, outdoor chairs that are stored in there, which is nice. Easy access to them. Nicely finished door cards at the back here. And then I wondered actually what this was at first, but I've just worked it out. So in this box where you've got axes and things like that, they will all be stored inside this. So you've got an axe, uh, space for your axe. You've got space for the little chop saw thingy, garden saw. <laughs> so yeah, that'll look cool when that's all mounted on there. Very, very cool. So there we have it. There is a, a good look around the Grand Canyon S, the crossover variant, jacked up 4x4 beast by Heimer. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below what you think. Is it the ultimate off-grid camper? Might well be. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's just such a statement. It looks so, so cool. Yeah, I can imagine seeing this on the road just look must look mental. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think. Huge thank you to South Downs Motome Centre for letting us look and also just setting it up so well for us in this area. It's been really, really good to come here and film nice and quiet, apart from the seagulls. If you're interested in one, check out the link in the description below. That'll take you straight to South Down Motome Centre and you can ask them all about it. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. It helps us bring you videos like this. Uh, but yeah, until next time, we shall see you in the next video. Cheers, bye.